Hey, welcome to the Green Apple Home. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that I haven't done in a long, long, long time, but it's good. It's a fettuccine cheese sauce veggie dish. I don't know what it is. It's a nice lunch. It calls for a bottle of Alfredo sauce, but I'm going to actually make it from a roux, my own white sauce. And let me just show you some of the ingredients that are in there in case you want to make it so you'll know what to buy. But we've got um, flour and milk and butter for the roux. And then I've got a bag of peas. Um, this is a five ounce thing of spinach, some grape tomatoes, box of fettuccine noodles. That's pretty much all you're gonna need. But it's, it's good, it's healthy. You feel like you're eating really healthy because you got your veggies. Um, I first got this recipe from a lady I worked with. I used to work at a cardiologist's office and um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> putting a bunch of butter in there. But anyways, I really valued this person's opinion. I'm gonna share it with you. And here we go. <laughs> so I've got my water right here, already starting to get warm. I'll probably throw some salt in there and then I'm gonna boil up the pasta. Cook it according to what is on the package. It called for 12 ounces. This is a pound, so that's like 16. But um, if you have leftovers, you can always you know, use it for butter noodles or butter Parmesan noodles or whatever. So I'm gonna just throw the whole pack in there. So here's my spinach. This is just baby spinach. I'm just gonna take handfuls of them like this and just kind of give them a few chops so they're not such big pieces. They'll wilt down too, so it's not like a big deal if you have a huge piece or whatever, but just for eating sake, it can be a little bit smaller than that. So these tomatoes are pretty long and huge. Yeah. So instead of just uh, doing them in half like that, yeah, I went ahead yeah, and did them in fourths. Yeah, My yeah, little boy poop. is yelling poop yeah, in the background. Poop. Please yeah, disregard. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, the poop. Okay, I decided to use about five tablespoons of butter. And we're going to make a little roux. Now, it asks for a cup and a half. Um of the bottled Alfredo sauce. So I guess I'm gonna try and make about a cup or so of sauce. So I'm hoping like a cup of milk will work to do that. Um, and it does ask for garlic to be in there. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the minced garlic with the butter. It's gonna be like a garlicky roux, I guess. <laughs> I hope this is gonna work. Cause I'm kinda mixing up the directions, but that's okay. Oh, this needs to be hotter. Hold on. I'm going to cook the garlic a little bit and then add a cup of milk and two tablespoons of flour to make a kind of a garlicky roux. Now it's time to add our flour. Stir that up until it makes a paste. See how it's kind of thicker now? Now we can add our milk in. One cup of milk. I'm using whole because that's what I had, but you can do 1% or whatever. See how the sauce is getting thick? Okay, we're going to stir in our spinach until it looks all wilty. If this starts looking really too thick, you can always add a little bit more milk to thin it out. I'm going to do that a little bit until it looks pretty good. It'll thicken up again in just a minute. Just tasted it and it needs a little salt. Here's where you can season it with whatever you want. You could probably do garlic salt or even onion would be good probably. I'm just going to use regular, regular salt or maybe a smidge of pepper. Here is my bag of frozen peas. These are still frozen, but we're gonna drain our noodles on top of this so it'll kind of thaw them out, which the noodles are almost done. It's a steamy pool of noodles. We're going to transfer this whole thing back into the pan we were just in with our noodles. Whoa. Here 
come the tomatoes. Now we're just going to give it a big, a good big stir here. Wow, that looks really good. Mmm, I could eat that. There is your dish served up. I totally forgot when I was putting the noodles in, I was going to reserve some because it only called for 12 ounces. So it did make it a little skimpy on the sauce because I added mold in it and then I was like, oh wait, shoot, I was supposed to keep some out for butter noodles and Parmesan later. I really like the tomato with that. I could definitely taste the sauce, but um, I kind of wanted more of it. <laughs> only use about 12 ounces of noodles. Don't use a whole pound. Other than that, it's delicious. The spinach is great. The peas are great. I hope my kids like it because if they don't, I'm just going to eat all this pasta. Um, anywho, <laughs> it's really delicious. It's really light, but it's still flavorful, so it's really good. Mm -hmm. How is it, Dee? <laughs> How is it, Missy? Mm -hmm. Well, they're eating it, so... This is great. This is really good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well, good. Awesome. Because I'm going to add it. Again. I know. I'm going to add it into a rotation. It really is not that hard to do. Yeah. All right. There you have it. They like it. I just have to tell you that this is a two-quart container. And these are the leftovers from a family of five. And Neil had three bowls full because <laughs> he was so starving. Actually, what I did, um, I used the rest of the cube of butter that I didn't use. And went ahead and put like maybe a half or to a teaspoon of flour and then maybe a half a cup of milk. Stirred it up, made the roux really quick and made it a little bit more sauce. So if you wanted to use all the noodles, you could just make your sauce stretch further. You can see it looks a little bit um, more saucy than, than the first go around. Anyways, it was delish. Talk to you later. <laughs> all right, see you on next time on the Green Apple Home.